You don't want to miss these amazing armor sets in God of War Ragnarok that you can already find early on. And cool in this game is that every gear piece can be upgraded to the max level. So these items will remain useful throughout your whole journey even if you find them early on. With one armor set being able to slow down time for an amazing counter attack. I want to highlight some other early items and upgrades you want to get as well. So a ton to go over. Of course if you are excited to start playing Ragnarok or are already loving the game, leaving a like on the video would really help me out and let's go. An armor set I used for a long time after I found it can actually already be obtained in Swartalfheim a few hours into the game from the in service of Asgard side quest. After talking to the dwarf in the tavern for the main mission, which you cannot miss, you can speak with him again for this side quest. Then at one point, a little later, when you're in a boat, you can choose to either go left to continue with the main story or right to do all the optional content in Swartalfheim. Including the side mission you just picked up. It's pretty straightforward, you will immediately see the objectives on your map for the rigs you have to shut down. And after shutting down one of those rigs, you will find this special ore on the ground that you can then exchange at Sindri over here on the map, which is also very close by. There are three rigs in total, but you can already craft the chest of the Nida Valir armor set after shutting down one rig. So totally worth doing that to get health back on a stun grid. Crap. Because that is new in Ragnarok first the previous game, chest pieces now have a singular perk while the other two gear items from the same set give a passive bonus that works well together with the chest. So for the Nida Valir set it reduces the stun drain by up to 100% if you wear both items at the same time or 50% if you wear one item. And this stun drain is pretty insane, so normally after like 3 seconds the stun bar from an enemy under their health bar will go down so you have to build it up again. But with this gear set equipped, it seems to just stay up forever and not go down. Now against regular enemies, it's already really easy to stun them. Hit down on the d-pads to only use your shield and then start hitting the targets, which will let you very easily trigger the R3 attack. Now the stun drain reduction is in particular handy against bosses and mini bosses, so you don't have to worry that you lose the stun you build up, as it simply will just stay there under their health bar. So you can also more easily fill that bar and then maybe stun these enemies enemies multiple times during an encounter and by the way you don't have to kill the enemy with the r3 attack to get health back just performing it is enough and you probably also noticed that i use atreus's new sonic arrows a lot to easily build up stun like this in combination with the shield makes it very easy to do r3 on almost every enemy which next to getting health back with this armor set of course also means that you just skip a lot of their health and more quickly kill every target but it's especially easy to trigger a stun grab against the light elves you fight early on making this armor set even more powerful namely throw your axe against their mask and they will immediately be stunned now it's not smart to immediately press r3 when you can but deal damage first and then when the circle goes from yellow to red perform the r3 attack because now you will instantly kill them. Of course, if you do R3 when the circle is yellow, you will only deal some extra damage, but they will survive the attack. And by the way, more enemy weak points will be in our things the game doesn't tell you video with way more tips. I will link to that one in the pinned comment if it's already up. Otherwise, just subscribe to not miss our next upload. We got a ton of God of War Ragnarok content coming your way and already up on the channel. Now going back to the Light Elves, because at this point in the game, which is very early on, Atreus will have his first accessory unlocked called Sonic Aftershock. Like you cannot miss it and with this equipped doing melee attacks against an enemy affected with Sonic deals bonus stun. I totally want to upgrade this at the blacksmith early on by checking these special items. For the third upgrade you do need beast bones from larger monster enemies. I only found three early on so you will have to wait longer to get it to rank three but totally upgrade it to rank two immediately because you should have enough resources. Now before I look at other items that you don't want to miss early on, first another Another tip for the Nidaflare armor set, spending Atreus' XP on things that will help him build up stun will also let you do the stun grab way faster. And you of course see the stun noted in the skill description, like you won't have these skills in the menu right away, so I would suggest that you save Atreus' XP for when they do unlock, which like a few hours in. And you especially want to save your XP for the skills right here that make the sonic arrows even better and also help you apply stun even quicker, in particular the final one that that lets the sonic apply to multiple enemies close by is amazing. Like I use the sonic arrows throughout the whole game 
upgrading them as soon as possible is really smart. Another strong armor that you can miss if you skip the side content is the Radiant Set, which you find in three locations in the open area in Alfheim that you can go to after completing the main story in this realm. So smart to first follow the Secrets of the Sands side quest that you get from Sindri just before entering the open space, not only to make this area easier to navigate, but also at the end of this mission you get the chest armor from this set. You find the other two pieces in special chests, one is over here in the optional Alfheim area and the other one over here, both protected by enemies, but overall easy to get. So the idea with this armor set is that you slow down time for 1.75 seconds after a last second evade. So when the enemy is about to hit you, you want to press or double tap X to get out of the way and now a realm shift is triggered. This then gives you time to perform a nice counter, it's especially smart to then immediately follow up with an R1 attack, so dodge and do R1 forward for a nice spin with the X, or dodge and R1 backwards for an extra. The blades have similar skills you can also find in the skill tree, so then it would be backwards is this fire attack, while if you dodge and R1 forwards, you launch Kratos towards the enemy, so then you can easily follow up with a nice combo. But yeah, maybe you already noticed it, every time I do the last second evade, I also get an almost 8 second long blessing of runic. So while the gloves and the waist give me the slowdown time, the chest gives you this runic boost on a perfect evade. So also smart to use one of those attacks in this time window, and there's one early game runic attack that I really liked and I used throughout most of the game, and that is the Hades Retribution. This lets you put a bomb on an enemy that will then detonate after some time, hitting multiple targets close by, which has really been a common skill that we've seen in multiple recent games. But I love that in Ragnarok you can upgrade it so you can add even more bombs to it, which will then detonate after some time really nice. You can actually miss this runic attack during the Alfai main quest. So pretty early on during this quest you have to jump on these objects to reach the next area. Then you want to head to the right side and then you will already see the chest in the distance. To get there we want to head upstairs and then on your left hand side you can drop down. There are some annoying enemies here. Clear them out. So this is where we just drop down and then on your left hand side you will see the chest. Another thing I used a lot throughout my journey is an early game relic. Actually the first one you find that you cannot miss as you get it from a dwarf stuck between the wall in Swartalfheim. And once you grab it, you also clear a path to get to the next area. So this talisman simply gives you a strength buff for a couple of seconds depending on the upgrade level. And here you see me attack without the talisman, but here I do activate it and attack the same enemy. And yeah, you see, it's a pretty noticeable difference. But it's even better in combination with the rage. Here I damage a Draugr side boss without the talisman, like I'm not doing a lot. But when I activate it just before going into the rage and then go crazy on the same enemy, you see a significant boost to the damage. Like I'm looking one health bar of the three when I'm done. I did upgrade the relic with XP, which increased the duration and the power of the effect. I think it's worth it as it will take some time before you get a better one and overall don't be afraid to upgrade the gear you are using when you can as the lower level upgrade materials will be very easy to get later on and brand new resources will be required for higher level upgrades. And some armor pieces like the Nida Valir gear items have to be upgraded before you can even use their perk. And by the way I found this funny transmog bug after crafting the Nida Valir chest piece I immediately looked at the level 9 upgrade and then left the menu of the blacksmith in Swartalfheim and then I still saw that amazing upgraded look of the armor set. While if I went to my inventory menu, I still saw the blue version. Go back into the game, I see the level 9 version that I'm obviously not supposed to rock yet. I only got this to work though after crafting the item piece. I will be checking it with other gear items as well and report back in a future video. We got way more stuff coming your way and already on the channel. Just subscribe for everything Ragnarok if you haven't already. A like on the video would really help me out. And check out my previous video on the pro tips for the early skills you want to unlock. For now though, I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.